Cloudways is a company that's selling web hosting without having a single web hosting server. Doesn't make sense, right? And it's not shared web hosting either. You get a virtual private server with absolutely every single one of their plans. Sounds interesting? Well, here's everything you need to know before you buy Cloudways. Cloudways has quite an interesting business model to say the least. Nothing that hasn't been done before, but from what I've seen, they've implemented the solution in the most convenient way so far. The way Cloudway operates is they buy web hosting services from giants like DigitalOcean, Google or Amazon and just resell you the plans for a higher price. For example, a starter DigitalOcean server from DigitalOcean directly costs $5 a month. The exact same server as you can see here, 1GB of RAM, 1 core, 25 gig storage is $10 if you buy from Cloudways and is the same with Linode, Vulture, Amazon and Google servers. Wait a minute, that doesn't sound like a good deal at all. Why would you ever buy from Cloudways if you could get the same product for half the price from the original supplier? Well, luckily, it's a bit more complicated than that. You see, there's a huge barrier of entry when you buy a virtual private server. And that's exactly what Cloudways is selling. Virtual private servers, or VPS for short. They offer great performance, but absolutely no user interface. You have to do everything using text and command lines. So instead of clicking buttons and using auto installers, you have to rely on text based commands with very little feedback. You're basically operating a computer without having a monitor or a mouse for that matter. It's all text based in most cases. And if you have little to no experience, you don't stand much of a chance. But Cloudways buys the server for you, sets it up and gives you a control panel so you wouldn't need to deal with commands. Cloudways acts as a middleman between you and the server that you bought. So you get great performance servers together with software to control them. While Cloudways advertises monthly or yearly prices on their website, it's actually a pay-as-you-go system where you get billed hourly for the resources that you're using. And when you're signing up, you can choose which web hosting provider you want your servers to be supplied by. You can choose from DigitalOcean, Linode, Vulture, Amazon or Google, all having different pricing models. Me personally, I found Vulture to be a good choice between price and performance. If you're planning to make any web hosting purchase, consider using the links down below and get a discount. But I want to be completely transparent here and mention that these are affiliate links. That means I will make a commission if you purchase anything through the links. This is the main way I can keep my videos monetized without accepting sponsorships. And it's a win-win situation. You get a discount, I make some money at no cost to you and continue to make accurate, unbiased tests and reviews. So thank you for the support and now let's get back to this Cloudways review. Upon first sign up, you don't have to pay anything. There are no upfront costs. You'll build up your bill as you go and use these servers and you'll only be billed next month. But keep in mind that your bill is modular. That means there's no flat fee that's gonna cover everything. If you want additional features like emails, backups or a content distribution network, that's gonna cost you extra and you're gonna be billed hourly as well or based on usage. You can always check what you're paying for by going into your account settings and clicking on real-time billing. I recommend monitoring this very closely as you might activate some services by accident and you want to check if you're not overpaying for something. And obviously, as I mentioned before, if you have good technical knowledge, there's not much reason to buy from Cloudways. You're better off buying from the supplier and managing everything yourself. But in case you don't have that much technical knowledge or you just value your time more and want to see what's up, let's see how much value Cloudways adds to their plans when you buy through them. I've registered an account and chose that I want WordPress installed on it. Filled in my server details, these are just to keep track of your server on the dashboard. Then all I needed to do is choose which web hosting provider I want for my server. I went with Vulture. For my server size, I chose the smallest one and that's the one that I'm going to be testing. And now I want the physical location of my server to be in New York. After that, I just pressed launch now and Cloudways took care of the rest. It took about 5 minutes until my server was fully ready for me to use. Now my server is set up and ready to be used. And think of the server as a box. I can host as many applications or websites on my server as I want. 
or well as much as my box can fit because as soon as you run out of resources well you'll need to upgrade to a better server let's see how easy it is to host one of these applications as i try to create a wordpress website switching between your servers and what's hosted on those servers is quite easy you just flick the switch and you switch modes to add a new application or website all you need to do is click the add application button and choose which server you want this installed on here you can choose between plenty of different options like WordPress, PHP, Laravel, Magento, etc. For this video, I'll go with a simple WordPress and WooCommerce installation. Once I've named my new application, I can click the Add Application button again, and in a couple of minutes, it'll create a new WordPress website with WooCommerce already installed on my server. As you can see in the application list, now I have a WordPress website that I've created before filming this review, and the WooCommerce website that I've just created. If I would like to manage one of these sites, I just need to click on it and then click this Outbound button right here. You can find your login information for WordPress next to the Outbound button as well, so it's easy to keep track of. So the process of creating a website is relatively simple and you can create as many websites or applications as you like or well, as I mentioned before, as much as your server resources allow. Even with the cheapest server, I can say you can definitely host about 4 to 5 moderate sized websites quite comfortably. To test the performance, I did what I always do. I've simulated a website design that could actually pass for the real deal. And here's how my website looks right now. Then I've used GT metrics to test the loading speed of my website. But before I show you the results, keep in mind that shared web hosting plans from providers like Hostinger, SiteGround or A2 Hosting are able to load a similar website in around 2 seconds with plans that cost anywhere from $15 to $25 a month. So Cloudways was a bit faster, loading my website in just 1.4 seconds. That's 30% faster than the most expensive shared web hosting plans that I've tested this year. And this is with the cheapest Cloudways configuration. I've also used a service called the K6 Cloud and sent 50 bots that simulated some actual users. I wanted to see how well Cloudway performs under load. And it didn't have any difference, like literally none. The website was still fast and stable even with thousands of requests being made every single second. And it's not a big surprise that these cheap virtual private servers are able to outperform even the top shared web hosting plans. Because after all, you are getting a whole server to yourself and you're not sharing any resources. In the past, the biggest downside of this was that they were hard to manage and control, but the Cloudways control panel solves this issue as well. Okay, but it's definitely not the oh my god this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life kind of deal. It comes with its fair share of problems and here are some of them. For one, you do not get a domain name with any of your purchases. A domain name is your website name, so you'll need to buy that separately and then connect it to any websites you create with Cloudways. Because they do not sell any domain names at all. As you can see here, the URL for my website right now is complete gibberish. I want to use a proper website name, for example tech2stream.com. How would I go about it? Well first, I would need to buy that website name somewhere else. In this case, I used Hostinger. Then inside Cloudways, I would need to go to Domain Management and type in the website name that I bought on Hostinger as a primary domain. Then I would need to go to Servers and find my public IP address. And then I would need to use this public IP address and point my domain's A record to it. Then just give it a good 10 to 15 minutes and it would start working. Quite exhausting if this is your first time doing it, but it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. The second problem is a little bit harder to explain. You see, even the word Cloudways is almost universally banned in every single forum, subreddit or a discussion board that's even remotely related to web hosting. Why is that? They have employees pretending to be users answering questions on forums like this thread right here, where the employee actually gets called out. This time he discloses that he's working for Cloudways, but in other threads he's talking like he's a customer. They're promoting the crap out of their servers on every single forum in an incredibly spammy way. For example, on this subreddit, you can't even mention the word Cloudways because they're in the blacklist for, yep, spamming. 
and while we're on the topic of disadvantages, I believe that Cloudways support isn't all that great. Yes, you do get a 24-7 support team with all of your plans, they have an extensive knowledge base where you can find information, and you can contact them via email. But let's be honest, the two most important lines of support is phone and live chat. For phone support, they only accept it for sales and billing, and you have to fill in a form for them to call you back, so it's like a hassle. And for live chat, well, have a look. At first, you only get the chance to talk to a robot. I've described my problem and it wasn't helpful at all, suggesting almost random knowledge base articles. To speak to an actual human, you have to click on other problem, different reason and stuff like that over and over again. After that, you'll have to wait to talk to a human. My wait time wasn't all that bad, maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes. Once I've got connected, the support agent didn't say anything, like anything at all complete silence so i've explained my problem again at this point i had to wait even more for him to break the silence with a super low effort everything is working fine response then i almost fished for a better result suggesting why i might be encountering the problem but he stuck to his guns and stuck to his everything is working fine routine if i'm contacting you obviously it isn't fine he wasn't helpful at all Overall, I just think like he didn't want to help me at all. He just wanted to get rid of me as soon as possible and hope I just never come back. I spent like 30 minutes with this problem and the support team and I got absolutely nothing out of it. I think this was the worst instance of support I got from a web hosting company in 2020. In my opinion, the good parts of Cloudway actually outweigh the bad parts. I really like their control panel and the simplicity of it. I really, really like the performance because it's top notch, but it's not really their thing. It's more of the services that they're renting from. But the pay as you go model is also really consumer friendly because you're never in a position where you're overpaying for services. As a bonus, you do get a free lifetime SSL certificate for every single domain. You just need to type in your email and type in the domain that you've linked with Cloudways. Super simple and intuitive. The only couple of things that I really don't like about Cloudways is that they just don't feel like a human company. I think they're very profit driven and they would sacrifice customers for profits any day of the week. They do some sketchy marketing, the support isn't very good, but if these aren't problems for you, you're actually getting a really good deal for the money that you're spending in terms of performance, simplicity, stability, and if you didn't plan to contact support anyways, it's not a big problem. If you're planning to make a web hosting purchase, consider using the links in the description and get yourself a discount if one's available. My name's Emmet, and as always, good luck creating your websites, I'll see you in the next video.